Hi, Assalamu alaikum. Okay, today I'm going to show you tutorial on the MRP. So in the previous YouTube, I shown you on the two example. The first one is this example in which you have like 20 weeks and you have a item until E. And the other example is more simple one. Okay, this one is the past year final question in which they have a very simple uh, bill of material or structure tree. And this one, they have the lot size. Okay, so this example, they have the lot size. And these are the questions that we're going to solve. This one is from January 2020 final exam. And the information given here, okay, there's no table, so we need to do some uh, information uh, from this paragraph into the table. Okay, so we read line by line. Okay, and item is P, so it means that P is the uh, parent product, is the finished product that we want to ship out. Okay, and then they say that they have some assembly of KLW, okay, KLW, and then K using 3G and 4H, so they have G and H, and then they have M and N, M and N, and then Z, okay. So we have P and Z, on hand inventory are 20 for L, so on hand, 20 for L. 44G and then 204H. Schedule receipt are 10K at week 3, so 10 at week 3, 30K at week 6, so 30 at week 6, and then we have 200W at week 3, so 200W at week 3. 100P must be shipped at the start width of 6, so we know that. On week 6, we have 100 P. And then the lead time are 2 weeks for site assembly. So site assemblies are KLW. So KLW is 2 weeks each. And 1 week for G, H and M. So G, H and M, 1 week each. And final assembly required 1 week. So P, 1 week. With the 0 on hand. So we need to answer product tree structure of bit of material. Then we need to do the master schedule for P. And then MRP for K and G, lot for lot ordering. So when we draw the product tree, it will become like this. So P is the final product. KLW is the site assembly. And from here we know that uh, K using 3G and 4H, so 3G and 4H, M using 2M, L using 2M and 2S, 2N, 2M and 2N, and W using 3Z, so 3Z. Okay, now we're going to do the MPS. So for the MPS, we know we have at width 6 here, we need 100P, so 100. So MPS usually for the final product. In which this case is P. Now let's do the MRP. MRP we need to do for K and G. So K and G only for others we don't have to uh, do. So for MRP we need the bill of material. So we need to do K and G but you always start from the finished product in which the P. So we need the MPS for P. And then we need the table. For the standard MRP table, I prefer to use this. So usually lot size, it, it depends. For this case, all is lot for lot in which you can buy any amount. Okay, If there's a requirement on the lot size, they say lot size of 100, of 200. So you need to buy according to the lot size. So the lead time okay, for P is 1. On hand, uh, no. The begin, uh, the inventory for P is zero. Th this is the num uh, name of the item for the MRP. Gross requirement, schedule receipt, projector on hand, net requirement, purchase order receive and purchase order release. Purchase order release is the we want to know when it will arrive. Okay. 
So we need to start from gross requirement. Gross for the first one for P related to the MPS in which 100 here. And then on hand 0. So we will start from week 1. So 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Until you have number on top of the gross. Okay. It should be 100 minus 0 to buy 100. And then you PO receive, you can buy any amount because lot for lot, so 100. So when it will arrive, so it depends on the lead time. So for this case, lead time is 1, so 1, and then it's going to arrive at week 5. Okay. So we complete with P. Now we're going to do MRP. Okay. So one week lead time, so it will arrive on the week 5. So we're going to do K. Okay. Now we're going to do K. So, first we need to fill up the lot size, is lot for lot. Lead time is 2 for K. On hand, there's 0 on hand, but they will receive at week 3 and week 6. And then this one is for K. Okay, need, we need to fill up the gross requirement first. Since K is coming from P, so we look at the uh, last row of the P is 100. So, it will become the gross of k okay so it will be 100 because p need only 1k so it will be 100 so once we have filled up the gross then we can do the schedule so the schedule we uh, schedule receipt we know that it will receive at week 3 and week 6 so week 3 is 10 week 6 is 30 okay now we will start do the calculation so on hand is 0 so 0 we bring to the next week 0 because there's nothing here. So 0 here but we need to do some calculation. 10 plus 0, 10. Then we bring to the next week. Okay, now we need to do some calculation because there's 100 here. So 100 minus 10 is 90. So since we can buy lot for lot, we will buy 90. And when it will arrive, so it will arrive. K is 2 weekly time. So... 1, 2. Okay, so it will arrive at week 3. Okay, and since the this one has been used on week 5, so it will become 0 here. Okay, now we're done with K. Now we're going to do G. Okay, because the question 1, K and G. So we need to add one more set of MRP. Again, lot for lot. Lead time for G is 1 week. On hand is 4. 40 and then G and then the gross we need to set the gross first so we know that G is coming from K okay G is coming from K so we look at the last row of K is 90 so we move 90 here but check how many we need G 3 so 3 times 90 so we set the gross and then is there any schedule receipt no on hand is 40, so we need to bring 40 here, week 1, week 2, week 3. Okay, we need to do some calculation. 3 times 90 is 270, minus 40, we need to buy 230. We can buy lot for lot, so we decide to buy 230. And when it will arrive, the lead time is 1. So, 1, it will arrive at week 2. Okay. So we have complete K and G. Even though the question one K and G, but we need to do starting from P because we need to set the gross requirement for K. Then the gross requirement from G, we are we need to find it from K. Okay, so that's how you do it. Alright, so you have complete all the MRP.